Hi guys, welcome back. This is Jessamine and I'm showing you a blog about my visit to Vermeer exhibit inside the Rijksmuseum. So um, I'm sketching here inside the Rijksmuseum, but it's a from a photograph, not from the painting itself that's hanging inside uh, the museum. And normally the sketches are made at home and during uh, my TV, Netflix moment or waiting for something else and just doing nothing on on my bed trying to go to sleep so these are the moments that i'm sketching this one i don't i, I don't really know how many uh, sketches i made but i'm just doing it the way i wanted when i wanted it so um i'm gonna show you one by one i think i have 24 or 25 sketches here in my search cast book i'm gonna show it to you one by one and also i will show show you here how i build up my sketches with blue pen so I have this separate sketchbook only for my blue pen and normally when I sketch with blue pen I don't really use pencil with this because it's, this is this is just impromptu so it's laying on a on table on a couch things like that so I don't really prepare when sketching this just when I'm in a mood to sketches so normally when I sketch with blue pen I straight with pen very light lines I'm making it and then block in every details that I need on the sketch and then I try to, to make a hatching very light and then uh, on on one direction as much as possible I'm doing it on one direction it's depends on the forms of the subject but if it's round form then I also follow the form and then I my lines here are also um, the same as the first layer and the second layer the only thing that makes it different is that I layering it on top of each other to make it darker to achieve the depth or the, the shadow part of the area and also uh, emphasizing more the light uh, values of the painting which is very important to Vermeer's composition and by the way, um, my hatching here is actually going on one direction and also layering it on top of each, each other. But sometimes I also do cross hatching when it's really necessary. When I, I really wanted to make it very dark, then it's the time that I uh, tilt my uh, sketchbook and make a different direction of hatching. So that's always uh, uh, not necessary, but sometimes I just need it because some when I put already a lot of layers on a paper and it's still not working the way I wanted it so then it's the time that I tilt my, my sketchbook and make a different hatching. So first I do block in and then made some very light lines and then after that I do a, a light hatching and then layered it on top of each, each other and then tilt my sketchbook to have a more depth or more darker values. And saving the light area for the light values. Hey, sketch! Happy Hello. birthday! <laughs> la, 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 la. Are you ready? How are you eating? We moeten eerst maar eens een stukje naar het centrum lopen en dan bedenken wat we gaan eten. Oh, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> are we gonna walk or are we gonna go by tram? By tram is what you say. It's like ten minutes or less and walk is 30 minutes yeah look all antiques mm -hmm. whoa Cheers. Happy birthday. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fast. Yummy. Spinach. So after dinner, we went straight to Rijksmuseum to visit the exhibit and we have an 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. slot. That means it's a night shift slot and you can see that people who come here are only specially visited this museum only for Vermeer. And actually the whole Rijksmuseum is closed. Uh, they only open the exhibit uh, only for Vermeer. 
So that's how important this exhibit to the, our history. So we, we, we cannot miss it. And also because the make, what makes it important to this exhibit is that um, it's uh, uh, showing all the works of Vermeer and mostly those works that's not even shown before. And that's why uh, this is very popular here in Europe even in Asia and America, because of um, yeah, this uh, uniqueness of the exhibit, some paintings that you didn't even realize it's really from Vermeer. It's also here uh, hanging. Yeah. Okay, done. See, it's bijna niet, maar. So as you can see, every time I show a, a painting here from Vermeer, you always see people next to me. It's just because it's so busy and everybody wanted to look on the painting close. So you, I don't really have any time to be close enough to show you guys these uh, sketches and also next to the painting. I would love to, but it's always have this kind of thing these people around it but I uh, for me it doesn't matter because it also gives a story behind this vlog that is uh, this uh, exhibit of me are be very successful and be very popular in Europe that um, yeah that obviously you cannot really go close to the painting and you can even stand there like you know normally you look at it uh, like like you're in one meter distance and then you go backward you walk away a little bit and then you go further away for the yeah. front again and then look back again you cannot do it here because it's just too much people you have to look and go more you, you cannot do more but I try to sometimes being brutal to show this just for this vlog um, sometimes I have a chance to get a little bit closer but sometimes it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's okay it's part of the vlog it's part of the story behind this exhibit And of course, uh, they specially created a store, especially for Vermeer, because the official store, uh, Rijksmuseum store, is closed. And that was just a special store for if you just want to buy something, uh, a souvenir, a sketchbook or pen. And then after I buy something, I realized that the last batch of the exhibit are already uh, gone. And these are only the left... Uh, people on the area before they close so I sneakily go back to it and try to edit some part of my sketchbook that I think I need to edit one and especially this one because it's my favorite so I uh, tried to um, yeah had I, I had a time to really uh, go close to it look at that how luxurious is that not too much people there see this these are the uh, last batch of the uh, visitors so I have much time to go close like this to this painting very close and also sketch and this is only i think one or two paintings that uh, that i was really able to sketch inside the museum like this so i'm so happy that i still have this chance although it's a little bit illegal because actually my time is already done once you pass already this store, it means you have to so go leafy. outside. Mm How's -hmm. <laughs> so, exhibit? Yeah, people. I'm just so yeah, so like fan it. with Rex. What did you don't like in this exhibit? To see everything. <laughs> A lot of people. Uh -huh. It's just terrible. It's so terrible. You get tired not watching the painting itself, but it's more like too much people. Mm -hmm. They're all taking photographs, and yeah, it's just too much. So mm -hmm. you don't really enjoy it. But the nice thing is. 
The advantage of, of an evening uh, group is that uh, we are almost one of the last, uh, second to the last. Eh? Yeah. So there's also one who's from 1030 and they're still there. <laughs> so actually at 10 o'clock we're already done and then we get to go back to the paintings and when we return to the exhibit, there's not too much people there so we can no. <laughs> enjoy some part of the paintings. But the rest is just too... Uh, I cannot even make a vlog there inside because it's just too much people and uh, yeah. But all in all, it's a very nice to watch uh, Vermeer's painting. It's very inspiring mm -hmm. and a great way to celebrate birthday yep. in Amsterdam mm -hmm. with Vermeer in Rijksmuseum. Yep. Have a nice evening, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and this is the last view of the Rijksmuseum. So now we are leaving on the way out to look for a cafe to have some drinks. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Cheers. Cheers.